Okay, mistake number six. And I see this often at the business school, or frequently. Putting investors before customers. Now, those of you who've worked in entrepreneurship or in startups, you may have seen this. Certainly, venture capitalists see this. When I was in venture capital, you know, we, we used to see entrepreneurs, they would knock on the door, and they were more interested in getting our money than in getting their customers' money. And for me, that's a not a good thing. Not a good thing. They put investors before customers. They chase the capital, not the revenues. So I think this is a mistake to be avoided. Yeah. So I say make customer acquisition part of your funding strategy. Now do you, can you, anybody got an idea why I think customer acquisition can be part of your funding strategy? If you're trying to raise money, why, why is getting customers going to help you raise money? Who? The, the, right, the customers will give us money. So then we've got more money coming in. Yes. So we may be able to, there's a, there's a, fund, a version of fundraising called, in English, bootstrapping. You heard that? You, you fund yourself from the money you get from your customers. And you don't need a venture capitalist. That's even better if you can do it. Do it without a VC, because VCs are hard. I love them, but they're hard. Okay, so you might get money from your customers, and that will help you. What's another way that getting customers can help you raise your, get money? Any ideas? Right, you keep them, and they become your loyal return customers. So it keeps being a revenue stream into the future. Yes. Right, you get referrals. Customers bring customers. Reputation in the market. So these are all good sources of revenues. Yeah. And I said a minute ago that if I was a venture capitalist, and if I, if I was listening to the entrepreneur and I could see they were really more interested in my money than their customers' money, if I'm a venture capitalist, what do I want to see? What do I, if I'm a venture capitalist and you're trying to get my money, what do I want you to tell me? How many customers you've got. Exactly. So if I'm a venture capitalist, I'm more likely to give you money if you're already chasing the customers. Right? Because that's what we need to do. It's not like sometimes an entrepreneur, they used to come in and they say, look, give us a million euros and then we'll go and get some customers. Well, sometimes, but I don't think so. It's like, we're already out there getting customers, selling, we're trying, we're trying, we're talking to customers, we're chasing customers, even if we don't have a product yet. We're developing relationships with customers, we're learning from our customers, then I'm more likely to give you money. Yeah? Well, the fact is, Unfortunately, a lot of entrepreneurs get it wrong. And I have to say that sometimes they get it wrong because of what business schools and incubators teach them. I doubt, I don't think it doesn't happen here at iStart, right? Chase the customer here, right? Yes. Okay. Strong revenues prove the valuation and reduce financial pressures. That's basically a business, business way of saying what we've just discussed. Yeah. And smart investors want to see real customers, not just the business plan. And we've already said that too. Yeah. So that's, I think, a fundamental, that's something you can avoid and should avoid. Don't make that mistake. Customer revenues, that's the most important thing.